My name is Konstantin Samoylov. I'm uh, American. I live, I have a home in Washington State and uh, present time I live in Thailand. What brought you to Health Institute of Tijuana? Um, but almost two years ago, I um, got diagnosed with uh, a disease, eye disease called uh, uh, ret retinia vein occlusion. Okay. And uh, that uh, what happens, I get the blood in my eye, but mm -hmm. my eyes, but I can't get it out. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> so I went to regular doctors. Uh, that was. That diagnosis happened in uh, end of the 2017 and around December, mm -hmm. and so I went. Uh, my eyesight get worse and worse. So in January 2018, I went to the doctor, and doctor diagnosed me with this diagnosis, and they said, "Did you give you shot straight in your eye?" and see if that could help. So they did one shot uh, straight in my eye because my this my right eye is good eye, the left eye, I since birth I didn't see very well at all. So they give me shot and then next month they give me another shot and the third month they give me one other, another shot, very expensive uh, vaccine and they said this is all we can do for you. They, it's improved a little bit, but I still have a trouble to, uh, I can't tell if there is a car coming. Is it pickup or car? I can't tell 300 feet. So I don't want to give up. I went to internet and start uh, researching uh, what can I do for my eyesight. So I research probably, uh, Two, three months and then I stumble on Gerson therapy and next six months I tried to figure out what I gonna do and then I decided I gonna do the Gerson therapy see if that will help so I watch videos of Charlotte Gerson and also about books and try to read them but I have a very terrible time to read those books my my lady helped me uh, read them and I read whatever I could with magnifying glass. <clears throat> Finally, I decided to do the Gerson therapy um, end, of the, end of 2018 and January, beginning of January 2019. So 2019, around January, I got everything I needed, <coughs> all the uh, juice and all the equipment and I start doing it but not 100% I probably did 50-50 so 2019 March the 1st I decide I want to do the full Gerson therapy now 2019 uh, in January I start doing it within about a month or so I start noticing improvements and um, so I, um, uh, in March 1st, I thought I should do it 100%, and since then i still doing it. Well, what improvement did you see? What changes? I start you? seeing better. I, I start be able to read with magnifying, but easier, with magnifying glass, but easier. And um, so I went full therapy, and i um, been doing for now five months and I decide about a month ago to see if I could go to um, Tijuana here in Mexico and uh, learn more than what I've been doing so it's probably going to be better. And on the way when I start doing, doing, this, doing this my arthritis got easier, uh, my prostate got easier, start improvements and overall I start feeling better and I knew there is something you know in this deal going to be working for me so <coughs> that's the reason I 
main reason I decided I should come here and learn everything I can so I could uh, fix my eyesight, get rid of my arthritis and whatever and clean my liver sometime and that's the reason I'm here. Did you have other things? You said arthritis, your eyesight, your overall health. Was it good? Was were there certain problems that you wanted to change well, besides the eyes and the um, arthritis? When I start noticing my eyesight start improving, my arthritis start improving, and same time I start losing weight. I lost probably uh, since I started this uh, therapy, I around 30 pounds of weight I lost. I was uh, had big stomach, you know. Mm -hmm and uh, a lot of weight but anyway that that makes me happy how do you feel now that you feel doing great um, I have more more energy I have uh, I start more exercising I feel better and I feel like doing things than I used to before mm -hmm. you know it's it just overall uh, better health how do you feel with the doctors here because Oh, this is a super place. This is the best vacation I've ever been. <laughs> I really love it here. The food is great. The doctor is great. And the, all the staff so friendly and nice. Very, very, very good atmosphere here. Do you feel like you've learned things that you didn't know before by watching videos and reading the books? What's yeah, the I, difference? I definitely learned here more than I watch the videos and read the books but you know uh, but I did learn a lot from Charlotte Gerson videos mm -hmm. and I watched them all and over and over and over again did you uh, participate in Mag Margaret's uh, call this morning were you there observing yes I was yeah yeah and she sang exactly the same thing Charlotte Gerson was saying on videos, which is, uh, I knew the like pH, all that, I already knew from uh, Charlotte Gerson videos. So when you go back home, how are you going to incorporate all of this? Because I'm going to do 100% like uh, whatever I learned here and whatever Dr. Cervanti going to uh, prescribe for me and I'm going to try to uh, follow up. Uh, every month until I get rid of my arthritis 100% mm -hmm. and uh, my prostate uh, uh, get rid of that part and uh, and clean my liver and I have some problems with the liver too so I'm going to, we try to take care of that problem too so what would you say to someone that's maybe thinking about coming to the clinic or maybe trying the Gerson therapy but not sure thinking oh it's too difficult what advice would you give to them well at first when I uh, stumble on Gerson therapy at first I thought well I have no choice I have to do something mm -hmm. because I don't want to be blind I can't see anything I could see but I, it's all blurry you know mm -hmm. I can't tell two faces uh, within 10 feet uh, who's who um, then I, I was skeptical about this will work or not, but I have no choice, so I got willing to do anything. Mm. When I start doing it, I seen improvements, not just only my eye. I started improvements, my arthritis hurting loss. I, I start feeling better. Uh, uh, so if somebody thinking if this gonna work or not, I was thinking exactly what you just said. And uh, when I started improvements, I knew there's something in here, something going on, you know, compared to doctor, they said, sorry, we can't help you anymore. This is all you're going to get. Mm -hmm. And um, so if they thinking it definitely works and definitely nutrition is the way to go. Yeah. So do you plan on doing this? just a little bit or do you want to do it as a lifelong I go and do it the rest of my life not hundred percent what I'm doing right now I go and, I love salmon I gonna eat salmon probably 90 percent if I be able to do 90 percent feel good like this I gonna continue now by the way the 
it was very difficult for me. That's the reason I start January, but I can't uh, go full 100% uh, until March because the soul, I craving so much for the soul. Uh, I love uh, chicken fried rice. I was craving, I've been eating now and then. I love salmon, I've been eating now and then, like 50-50. And uh, when even I doing that, I noticed improvements, I knew Definitely, this is going to work if I go 100%, and that's why I'm here. And I'm so happy I could see better than I was before I went blind. I could see better, and still improving. Even since I got here, I my eyesight improving a little bit, a little bit, tiny. How do you deal with those cravings? Have you noticed them going away, or are there times when you still go, "Oh, I would like this," but because some of our patients, you know, see that as it being challenging for them, you know, it's completely going, you know, no salt, uh, no animal protein. It's difficult. Very, very difficult. But very difficult. But after a while, you know, like I did, if they don't have a serious cancer, and if they have time, they could start slowly and you know build up, and they get used to it. Uh, which is right now I'm not craving for salt like I used to. Uh, now and then, like uh, the soups here, I would love to put a little bit of salt in there, um, things like that, but not like used to. So uh, that's why it took me at least two months to uh, get to 100% because of that. Is it difficult where you live to get all of the uh, produce? or is it somewhat easy for you to find uh, that? Some stuff it's not bad, but it's more difficult than it be, would be in America. Uh, for example, uh, carrots, not bad. Uh, apples, difficult because they don't grow there. Sure. They have to import them. And I managed to get uh, organic apples. Uh, like cabbage, red cabbage, not available. I can find organic, but green cabbage I can. Things like that, it's a little bit more difficult in Thailand. Do you have someone at home that helps you? Yes, my uh, my girlfriend, uh, she's um, helping me. The f uh, what I did when I started, I've been doing 12 juices and three coffee enema every day uh, since March 1st. Before that, I've been doing one coffee enema and maybe six juices or five juices. Mm -hmm. Juices are not a problem. The problem with coffee enema it was a little bit difficult. But now it's I love coffee enemas, matter of fact, because they make me feel good. You know. Some people get nervous about that. They they are a little hesitant when you talk about you know that part of detoxification. But for you it was uh, at first was very difficult to first want to try it and mm -hmm. after I tried it um, and um, first two weeks, I'm talking about in March when I really full therapy, I start doing it. First two weeks, you know, and then the, like 10 days into it, I got severe, severe um, flu. Mm. And I knew it's happening because it's working, because I got that flu, because it uh, healing reactions. And I almost give up, and my wife said, you know, keep doing it because she read the books with me and um, uh, she said are you going to quit you know and she said two more days you know so I um, uh, you know after I I was sick for about five six days she said uh, into four days into it sickness and she said at least two more days please do it and I did it and then I in the sixth day fifth or sixth day I can't remember exactly start feeling better and better and then I feel so good afterwards. I knew this has got to be this, but I thought, you know, it's just not working for me. This uh, therapy. So, what would you tell someone that maybe feels a little discouraged and is in that point where they're thinking about, oh, I'm going to quit. This isn't for me. What would you tell? Just them? hang in there and uh, and feel about because you feel terrible. That means it's working for you. That means you should be happy. But then I know it's very difficult, but that's what you should put in your mind um, because you're sick, 
you have to follow you have to make up your mind and follow your mind because body follow your mind and you just have to be strong on that part so as we're getting close to your stay here um, what would you like to tell someone like to say you know do it come over or how would you encourage them if what? if you I've been researching for a long time and if you're looking for the best, this is it. The facility is beautiful, the people are nice, the food, excellent food. And I seen some of that, another uh, on videos and uh, reading on the internet, uh, retreats, they're not the same. And I've, uh, you know, I feel this one the best because this I call ground zero. This is where it started. Uh, this uh, Gerson therapy. Uh, Mac Gerson started, of course, in New York or wherever that uh, I could see. But this is the one uh, original place. If you uh, somebody want decide want to get best uh, treatment, this is it. You can't find no nothing better. Anymore. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Is there anything else you want to share? Well. Uh, uh, so if somebody were thinking about doing uh, a, a therapy and want to have any kind of disease, uh, arthritis or um, uh, anything, the nutrition, the best way to uh, heal yourself, medicine is your food and food is your medicine. It's just no way, another, no way around to it. And Whatever Mother Earth gives us, this is the only way you're going to cure. If you want to go to a regular doctors, they will fix one part, but they ruin another part. Just, just the medicine is toxic. So no matter which way you look at it. And I always, even when I was younger, I always hate to take medicine. But I had to take it, but I didn't know until uh, recently medicine really bad because the reason I don't want to take that medicine because make me feel uncomfortable sometimes feel make me feel terrible mm -hmm. because of that side effects well we're very glad that you're here and we appreciate your time thank you for sharing your story and hopefully you'll come back I'm definitely gonna come back and uh, already talking to Felix and February I gonna come back I Great. definitely gonna come back. This is if somebody give me a Las Vegas uh, seven star hotel and with limousine, I choose this place. Wonderful. That because this place make me feel good, and that's most important thing for me in my life right now. Thank the you. health is number one for me. Thank you so much. Thank you.